Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the Murphy Table. The uh, Murphy Table is whew, got filled with a bunch of gaming stuff, so we're going to show you some individual projects here. But uh, so I've, I've been busy with a lot of different things. Uh, so what I wanted to do is actually start real quick with this really cool game I found on the War Game Vault. Trying to fit the whole thing in picture here. This is Stars and Crosses. This is actually really, really cool because it's like a miniatures game, but it has board game components. So this is actually really, really cool. So I bought the book and PDF combo. The PDF combo, um, I forget what the price is, but if you go to War Game Vault, look up Stars and Crosses. It actually was pretty cheap. It was like five or six bucks. Um, but the the PDF book you get, but then you also get a PDF that has all the printable, you know, status markers and things. And we'll talk about what's cool about the PDF here in a minute. So the rules. Well, the rules. Well, first of all, the quality of the book is really nice. I didn't know that the War Game Vault actually printed out really nice books like this. I mean, I knew they printed books, and you know, if you do like their RPG now or different things, they print these books, and they actually print out really nice. So this was like the the cheap print option. I don't know how many different styles of printing they have, but um, this was like kind of like the cheap print version of books. But they're really nice actually. It turns out really, really good. So the rules themselves are laid out really nice. Uh, this is a kind of an introductory war game was kind of the basics of this. So like it says here, designer notes, created to be a casual game, quick to learn. And it actually is. The rules themselves you know, if you want to look at rules, page count. Uh, the whole book itself is 33, well, it's like 36 pages. Okay, 35 pages. So you got quick reference sheets at the end, uh, different units, stats, so you can kind of put together your own units for play. Here's some scenario examples. Purchasing units, scenario themes. Uh, core units for platoons. <clears throat> so a good portion of the book near the end is just, you know, putting together your armies. And the scale for putting your armies together, I guess I should mention, is micro. And I'll show you why the micro scale would be, you know, pretty cool for this. And that's kind of what it's designed for. Kind of makes me want to start buying some micro armor. Uh, but then you got special rules. So here's like specialized ammo, pinning fire, medics. Lighting and weather, hidden ghost units, calling in artillery. So there's a lot of you know a lot of rules here you would expect to see in a lot of games, and a lot of those are kind of you know advanced type of rules, expert and advanced optional rules. Uh, the basic rules then uh, count in to the core rules. The core rules come in at 11 pages, and what's nice is one thought is all on one page. So here's like key concepts, then you go into movement. I'm going, you know, backwards in the book. Uh, so you've got just a few pages of key concepts and then some very specific things, and then as you even get into the like advanced rules, that's all just on one page. So it's like if you want to have medic aids and stations, then there's just one page of rules. <clears throat> so here's why I thought this was cool. They have really good pictures on the War Game website. I'm trying to get some light on it here. Yeah, this doesn't do very good. But there's pictures. So what this guy did was you can print out these counters and then they're designed so that once they're mounted on whatever you choose to use for your mounting, you can then um, attach micro armor. So like here's a example of a tiger or a stug. So we have all your information for the unit and you just attach your stug. Now the nice thing too about this game is if you don't have micro armor you can just print the counters and then you're just playing with blank counters until you can attach your own micro armor. It's great and what's really cool here's a good example sorry for the wobbly camera here so what's so cool about this is you print your counters like a print and play game. That's what the PDF is for. 
The first PDF is the rules. The second PDF is all the different counters you can print. Then they have these little, um, I'm going to put my finger here, these little bits, little tiny strip. You place this on the hexes. So this is like, um, they recommend with the four inch hexes, which is like that battle foam stuff from, like I guess it's Battle Maker, Train Maker from GHQ. I'm sure you could use anything that you want to make your four inch hexes or however you want to designate your train. But you put these little marks on there and then it tells you the penalties and benefits for using that terrain, which is really neat. I don't have a problem with that. Um, you know, I see like Heroes of Normandy, the board game does that. So this just lets you um, kind of cut down on your charts reference and things. You can just look at the terrain and then you look at the stats on the vehicle and then you're ready to start fighting. It's very cool. Kind of reminds me of that Look Mom, No Charts, or, or like Look Sarge, No Charts game by Buck Surdu. Um, it's just a like a kind of a micro scale. Well, I guess this game was micro scale too, but just a, another way of doing it. <clears throat> now it does require that you put, you know, markers and things on your board, but I, I kind of like this. Now the other really really cool thing then is the PDF. Not only can you print out the counters so you could play your game. I don't know how many. I don't think they had any examples. That there's an example of one of the terrain markers. Um, yeah, and that's the information as an example. Yeah, they don't have a PDF here. But what they included was, um, in the PDF, they have printable tiles. So if you don't have anything fancy for making your terrain, and you don't have microscale armor, you don't have microscale terrain, you can print out these hexes, cut them out, and then make your board however you want, just using printed tiles. Now, obviously, they're printed paper tiles, and they don't stand up like, you know, 3D terrain. Um, but the, he's given you... Who's the author here? Doug Anderson has given you, in the PDF, everything you need to play the game until you can purchase your own micro-scale arm stuff. It's so cool. It kind of reminds me of the Airfix battle game that came out they included all the um you know counters and things to represent the infantry tanks and equipment in the base box and then as you buy models you can switch over your game over to models and this is the same thing you can print everything out and play this as a traditional board game with a modular terrain system then as you purchase or if you chose chose to purchase uh micro scale armor then you can start attaching the microscale armor to your pieces and boom you've got the 3d game it's great uh, and just for a few bucks i highly recommend this especially if you already have a microscale army collection then this would definitely put some new life i think so i'm pretty excited to uh, print but just thought i'd share that with you guys so yeah that's really all i got to say um yeah war game fault good book Pretty good ideas. I haven't played it yet because I haven't printed everything. Um, but from what I've read, it is simple. It should play very well. I just have to get it done and put together myself. So if you have any questions about it, definitely go check out the War Game Vault. And then if you just search the internet for Stars and Crosses, Doug Anderson does have a blog. And I don't have the blog address memorized. But, you know, just use your Google, Bing, whatever. And uh, if you go check out his blog, he's actually got a whole bunch of pictures of the game in action, and it looks really nice. That's about all I got. Thanks for watching.